everybody so look on the screen unbelievable look at the teacher was she in a car wreck maybe attacked by a ufo a martian no nope. attacked by what i deem an angry gremlin the seed of poverty d and they can come from poor homes rich homes middle class you name it america's teams are what as i've been saying america's terrorist august 15 during lunch i heard our behavioral teacher call on the radio to administrators for assistance when i arrived the teacher and students were outside the classroom one student was holding his head having been having been assaulted by the student remaining in the classroom i entered where the student was still irate and found the room ransacked with overturned furniture I knew I had to be as calm as possible. So he has already attacked one student, and that student is holding its head. And some parents don't want the police in the schools. Maybe if they had the police in this particular school, she wouldn't be, I can't believe, blinded in one eye. My God. Didn't, not dealing with a orangutan, a tiger, a lion, dealing with a so-called t- a teenage, um, I can't say teenager, dealing with a student somebody's angry seed and you wonder why people don't want to teach and i spoke lowly and slowly so as not to enrage him any further he picked up a chair and acted as if he would throw it he finally did throw it at me but i caught it midair he picked up another chair to throw at me when another assistant principal entered the room i used the first chair to block the second he picked up a third and threw it at the other assistant principal. And I used that initial chair to block the one that he threw at her. So he has already attacked. There's been an, uh, a violent altercation between one student. He has ransacked the room like a, a, a thief, a hoodlum. His anger is so out of control. He has ransacked the room. And now he's thrown not one chair, not two, three picking up chairs and throwing them at the uh, adults there. Behavior is what learned in the home. Some people don't need to have children. And as a result, so she's, I mean, this is crazy. You're having to block yourself from flying chairs because of an enraged student, the angry seed of poverty D. No conflict resolution. Doesn't know how to calm down. It's called adults in the room. You stop. Oh no, he's still mad. And unleashing his anger out. And I don't want to hear about oh what that child has been through in the BC. There's always I notice there seems to be some kind of sympathy for the wrongdoer, the person that's violent, kills someone, hurts someone, or in this case here, this teacher's blinded. Her eye socket, her eye knocked out of her socket. What that child's been going through. That speaks a lot about the culture. It a lot of people seem to really identify with ignorance and violence. It speaks a lot about the culture and it's not good. I noticed that. It's all it's like that kid, the teacher took that gaming system or whatever he had, and he picked her up, threw her down on the floor. Um, and she was a teaching assistant. Then he was seen kicking and stomping her. And a friend of mine said, oh, he need help. Well, hell, so does she, the teacher. Throwing somebody down, kicking and stomping. Oh, by the way, I believe he's going to be in adult prison because he got five years. Now, they say he was maybe autistic. Maybe he should be in a, uh, if that's the case, he should be in a special class. And I think they need to go ahead, which is not in the budget, of course, I'm sure, get some bodyguards to watch him. This here, he's thrown three chairs. She's having a catch chair. This is, this is crazy. The first chair to block the second. He picked up a third and threw it at the other assistant principal. And I used that initial chair to block the one that he threw at her. After blocking the chair thrown at the other assistant principal, he threw a wooden hanger at me, but I couldn't stop it fast enough. 
The hanger hit me in my right <sighs> eye and knocked it out of the socket. You hear that? The hanger hit her in her right eye and knocked it out of the socket. Oh, let me guess. He needs some counseling. Maybe next time he'll blind the counselor and kill him or her too. He need he need help. Put yourself in her position. I wouldn't even deal with these mongrels. I could tell my friend, retire, do something different. You have the money. These heathens aren't worth it. Working with children, not working at the zoo, I guess the human zoo. Not dealing with a tiger, orangutan, a lion, a leopard. A bear. Just, you want, just being around them. Airlifted. You know that, oh my gosh. Now she's blind. They were able to put her eye back in the socket. Can you imagine a nightmare of the PTSD? She has to get used to this. Able to put her eye back in the socket. And they've determined it's permanently damaged. I've been sent before, and I don't know who the student is, but I know this happens a lot. And you know, the, the BC, a lot of, uh, you know, it, uh, lower level impoverished schools. And that may not be the case here. You wonder why you have a replacement and why I say they're going to starve them out. The world is watching. This could be a kid from a middle class school. doesn't matter. If you're an American, unless you're rich, you are the replacement. So I'll, trust me on your tail, in my opinion. You wonder why, again, this is in Dallas, she said. But you wonder why the violence that teachers and administrators and a principal, in this case, an assistant principal, have to deal with. You wonder why they're closing down the school. A whole lot of violence, but not a lot of learning. This kid needs to be locked up. Mm -hmm. He should be barred from attending any school. No school should accept him. And I'm sure in the BC, we got a right to learn. Well, why don't we go ahead and let him knock the socket out of your eye? The danger that they represent. This is, I mean, this is, she didn't go over to um, the East where they're fighting to school and someone called for help and she came and you wonder why some of these parents don't want the police to school well, they picking on my son well i'd rather have your son pick on this person if he's a little kremlin gremlin than have a teacher anyone subject to what happened to this woman here her i th this is just the parents should be charged as well go get them so think, he knocked her eye out of the socket. She has been airlifted. Look at the medical bills. The parents should be, both of them, mom and dad, should both be charged. This is your seat that you unleash on society. As I said before, 
the seed of poverty D and poverty P, they get together and they create a horrible tragedy and release it on society. Good luck to you and me. As soon as possible, the doctors were able to reinsert my eye. However, they determined I had been blinded and currently believe that my damage uh, is permanent. I will have to have an additional surgery to repair my eyelid because doctors are believing. Um, oh, I'm so sorry. Um, I underwent surgery as soon as possible, and doctors were able to reinsert my eye. However, they determined that I've been blinded, and they currently believe that my damage is permanent. I will have to have an additional surgery to repair my eyelid. And because um, doctors are believing my blindness to be, per to be permanent, removing my eye may have to be an option. Removing her eye may be an option. All because of what? See the poverty. What did that old man say? He said, when you see people like that, you know, he didn't say poverty D. When you see like low vibrations, what I call them, you see them acting up. You see that mom with all those kids and she acting, hollering, getting like, ah, don't say nothing. When you see them acting out of pocket, Making decisions, don't send these. Just look at them. I, I get it. Don't say anything. Don't try to talk to them. Don't say anything. Just, just leave them. Why? Uh, he's a lot older. He know what time. He knows what time it is. If she wouldn't have went in to help, this would have happened. They should have. What they should have done. I think next time they should have seen this here. There needs to be a new protocol. When this happens, get the teacher and the student who's been attacked out of the room. Don't engage. Get the teacher and the student out of the room. And the one that's acting up, lock the door and just call 911. Oh, we don't want to do that. We don't want to do that. They're diabolical, they're dangerous. The seed of poverty do is very angry. I think the parents should be held liable for the medical bills. I think the parents should also be charged. Mother and dad, because they well, I wasn't around. That's what well, that's, that's not our problem. That's your decision. This is your DNA walking around assaulting people. Should be accounted, they should be held accountable. They need to establish a new protocol. When you find a kind of situation that's an act of violence, get the student that is injured out, get the other teacher out, okay? While he's throwing things, just get the key and try to lock the door. Get the janitor, whoever has the key, try to lock the door from the outside, leave him in there, and just call 911. That way, let the police interact. At least they got a taser, hell, taser thing. Yeah, I said that. America's teens, a lot of them in this case here, have become what I deem as terrorists. Trying to make a living can't even do that. This kid needs to be held responsible as an adult. Again, the one they said may have been autistic. The teacher took an object from him and he threw her down, slammed her down. Yep, that's what he did. Slammed her. What happened after that? Stomping and kicking her? He got five years. They're not playing with you. People are tired. And in no prison. So since you like violence, again, they need more security in the school. And if it's a special needs child, they need to go ahead and put them together. You're going to have to have security to protect the teachers. If not, they act out like that. Then you're going to be dealt with accordingly. Is he going to get, if they something he needs help, he's not going to get to prison. More than likely, if and when he gets out, he gets five years, he'll more than likely be more violent. Maybe some people need to homeschool your children. This here. She went to school to do what? 
Sister Principal hurt, you know, someone needing help, assistance. New protocol. The one that's violent like that, get the other child out, all the adults get out the room, lock the door, and just patiently call 911. And when the police get there, unlock the door and let the police handle it. This is just heartbreaking. Anyway, people, thanks for watching. Let me know what you think. My, they may have to take her, remove her eye. Oh, my God. Me, I love to read. I've had wonderful teachers. My parents are always press reading. I mean, seriously. A world without teachers be a world with a lot more ignorance. And it's things like this here that are driving people away. The violence, the disrespect, the danger is why a lot of people don't want to teach. And the good kids that want to learn have to suffer because of the bad. This is just alarming. It, it really is. Anyway, people, thanks for watching. Feel free to comment, like, subscribe, and share. Let me know your thoughts on the matter. Unbelievable. And I'm out. And I wish her well.